This morning's breakfast is this sourdough cinnamon raisin bread. This bread is so, so good. Oh, Elijah, they just came up. Okay. Ready for some butter. Uh, I will link the recipe to this bread down below. This is definitely a favorite of ours. I made this for the first time, I don't know, two or three months ago, and I've been making it weekly ever since because it's just such a big hit. Mommy, we have, I, yes? I have cream cheese with what? You can have either cream cheese or you can have honey. Which one? Oh, oh yeah, honey. honey. Which one do you want? Yeah, you I, think about I it. Okay, so I was just going to show we have cream cheese out. Oh, it looks like we have peanut butter out too. And honey, looks like we need to get more honey out, just about, uh, for options for putting on everybody's toast. We're gonna do bananas for breakfast too. Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this full day of food today. So usually I eat my breakfast at about nine o'clock. So the kids do eat earlier. I'm not really worried about intermittent fasting right now, but I still like the idea of eating in that smaller window. So I do try to keep my my eating hours between nine in the morning and then six in the evening. I try to kind of keep that nine hour eating window. And so, oh bless you, the kids eat earlier and then I eat my breakfast at around nine o'clock and today I am having the same breakfast that the kids had. So I just toasted myself two pieces of this cinnamon raisin bread and I put cream cheese on it. I also am gonna have a banana. This banana is a little bit past when I typically would like to eat bananas, but I thought I should have some fruit, so hopefully, hopefully that goes out okay. I prefer my bananas to be like just slightly yellow, like still a little bit of a greenish tinge. That's my favorite way to eat a banana. But that's gonna be my breakfast today. I have my water here as well. Just pouring my first coffee for today. Ooh. I usually show every coffee that I drink in my full day of food videos and I keep count of how many coffees I've had. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you today, I definitely have three coffees every day, sometimes four, but for sure three. And so I don't know if you guys care to see all my coffees throughout the day, so I may not show them to you today, but just know I have a few throughout my day. I have a little boy who is requesting a pear for a snack. So typically in the mornings, we don't do like an organized snack, but if the kids want uh, a fruit, I try to keep our fruit basket full with apples, oranges, bananas. You know, right now we have pears, and so it's just a nice, quick and easy snack that they can grab. So I'm cutting this up for Wesley. I hear the other kids, I think they're gonna be grabbing a fruit as well, but that will be Wesley's snack this morning. Okay, what do you say? What do you say to mommy? You're welcome. You can just have it on that on that cutting board there. Move some of this stuff out of the way. Yes, you guys can go ahead and grab a pear as well. I'm having to look how purple this apple is. No, that's pretty purple, isn't it? I can't really see it very well in this light, but yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the other kids the other kids are having apples, pears, yum. Yes, Sara. Piano, right? You are really good at playing the piano, yes. Me too, huh, mommy? Oh yeah, you too, for sure. Mm -hmm. I just have a bunch of food set out here for our lunch. So I have some crackers, some raw veggies, some nuts, uh, some kind of funky looking eggs. I think I may have overcooked them a bit. And then some pepperonis and some cheese. So I want to get a big platter, like a nice charcuterie board sort of platter that I can just put all this onto one tray rather than all these plates. But everybody can just kind of pick what they want here for lunch. The kids will also have milk to drink with their lunch. I'll have water. Also, I have at least one low carb meal a day, often two, and so that's gonna be lunch today. We're not having a low carb supper. You'll see what that is in a bit. But 
Uh, so I'm not gonna have any crackers. I'll just have meat, veggies, cheese, and nuts for a low carb meal for myself. It's a rainy day today and so I didn't send the kids outside for an outside break. Oh my word. And so they're making a whole lot of noise in here. They have a whole lot of energy that they are using up in the house. I thought I was gonna say one other thing about our lunch but I can't think of what that was right now. So we're going to sit down right away here and have our lunch. I am just getting um, afternoon snack out and ready for the kids. So I just grabbed out some yogurt out of the fridge. I also am gonna have some yogurt myself. Uh, we just have plain Greek yogurt right now, so I'm just gonna put some into a bowl with some honey just to sweeten it up a little bit. And then I also, here, let me show you just a sec. Okay, here's the yogurt I'm having, just a Greek yogurt from Costco, just plain Greek yogurt. And then I also, the other day, made a whole big batch of these oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. So I just pulled those cookies out of the fridge. I like to keep cookies in the fridge. They're so much better cold. Even out of the freezer, I will eat them. I just like them cold better than like a room temperature or warm cookie. Here's another look at our snack. So our yogurts, yogurt, these cookies. I also have butter just sitting here softening up a bit because I am very soon here gonna be making some dinner rolls. I am making soup tonight, so we'll have dinner rolls to go with that. My dough is just rising now for my dinner rolls. Now it's time for me to start making supper. I am making a broccoli potato soup. This is my first time trying out this recipe, but it looks so good. I was so tempted to make this earlier in the day and make it in the slow cooker, because it's not often that I make a soup or stew recipe not in the slow cooker. And I thought of adjusting this recipe and doing it anyways, but I thought, mm, for my first time, I better just follow all the instructions correctly, do it on the stove top. I do have to make like a roux to thicken it up and everything, so I'm doing it on the stove top. As always, I will link the recipes I use in this full day of food down below in my description box. Occasionally I forget to do that, so just remind me if you need a recipe, just comment down below and I will get that recipe to you. I currently have my potatoes and carrots there uh, just simmering in chicken broth. When those have simmered for 10 minutes, I'm gonna add my broccoli, and then I'm gonna make my sauce over here. So I've got butter, I have everything kind of spread out all over my counter. I've got milk, flour, and then I have to grate a whole bunch of cheese as well. And then my dinner rolls are over here on this messy table. Still have these veggies <laughs> sitting from lunch. I think these are almost risen enough. Yeah, I can probably start to get those into the oven. So they need to go in the oven at 375 for 12 minutes.
this looks so good. I know sometimes I need to trust the recipe a little bit more. Like uh, when I was cooking up my veggies here, I thought, oh, I don't know if that's enough liquid. And so I added another cup of liquid. Just It just looked like it was, wait, I should have gotten a bigger scoop. This one's gonna fall in. I have a bigger scoop down here in one of these drawers. There it is. Um, I just thought, oh, the veggies are, you know, there's too much veggies compared to the water, so I added another cup of water. Now I'm looking at it like, maybe I shouldn't have, I should have just trusted the recipe because it would have been a little bit of a thicker soup, but this looks really, really good. And then here are our dinner rolls on the side. I'm gonna close the video here. We're just gonna sit down and eat our dinner, and then we are done. As soon as I say I'm closing the video, the kids are like, wait, wait, I need to come and say bye. Because we eat dinner at like six o'clock, I like to eat a little bit later because then, for one, I am not hungry for a snack as much in the evening with having a late dinner, but then also the kids don't need a snack later on. So as we get as we get towards the summertime and we have more late evenings, the kids do snack in the evenings more. But we eat at six, they go to bed at about eight, and they're done eating after dinner. I like to feed them a nice filling dinner. And uh, tonight, I think I'll have a sparkling water probably before bed, but that's really the end of our full day of food. So thank you for watching today. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And Zara's coming back. Did you wanna say bye? This poor girl, come down a little bit. Uh, <laughs> say bye. Bye, bye. Yeah. It is just about nine o'clock. I am having a sparkling water as promised. But then I also saw these in the pantry and I was just craving some chocolate. So these are dark chocolate almond bark. So I'm going to sit down and just have a little snack tonight. Thanks for watching once again. See you next time.